Well, I want to give you the truth about fuel stabilizers and ethanol fuel. Actually, none of them are a perfect solution no matter what you do. And another factor, I just want to point this out, a vented gas cap or, or half full gas tank, whether it's a portable gas tank, a portable gas can or the gas tank in your car, if it's half full, that leaves room for a lot of air, of course. And of course, what does the air contain? Humidity. And again, anything with a vented gas cap will be exposed to air and humidity and that's the humidity the water in the air is what reacts with the ethanol in the fuel to cause phase separation now the one now I don't want to knock any product particular um, now the old stable like that's an old version of stable you know is not good but they got newer products out there such as stable 360 marine for ethanol, I think it's in a green bottle. That's actually pretty good stuff. It doesn't act, it doesn't prevent phase separation, but it still works well and it's economical. This product, I think, is the only one. I'm pretty damn sure it's the only one that prevents phase separation. Where you buy the ethanol will split from the gasoline due to water content, but the opposite side is this. Uh, well, the caveat is this. Um, if you have, it works up to a half of 1% of, of water in a gasoline. So in other words, if you have an, an ounce of water in a gallon of gasoline, one ounce in 128 ounces, that's over a half of 1%, and it's not going to stop phase separation. So sometimes you see on YouTube, like, you know, they add some of this stuff, and um, there's water in the bottom of the gasoline. They say it doesn't do anything. Well, it only works up to a point. Um, so again, you know, uh, a full gas tank or a full gas can, uh, when you put this additive in it, will maybe work almost as good as, you know, in other words, a full gas can, even without an additive, with a um, non-vented cap, uh, would probably work almost as good as a half-filled gas tank with the um, additive in it with a vented cap. So that's something else you got to consider. Um, so this stuff is actually pretty, pretty good. Um, I noticed, you know, it's just ideal for E10 gasoline. Now this generator here, I'm showing this generator. Um, this has one little part in it that seems to clog up all the time. It's, I know where it is now. It's in a, it's a one little part of the carburetor. I know how to get at it real quick. Uh, when I use this stuff, it did not clog up as easy, but it still will clog up if you let it sit about eight months, a little bit. It'll, you'll notice you'll have to uh, put it a little more on choke to make it run, uh, but it does work. It does work. I've never used this stuff yet, but I've been hearing a lot of people swear by it because, for especially for two-cycle motors, and... I think this is fine too. It says it's good for two and four cycle motors. The PRIG, some people call it pre PRIG, it's Power Research. That's what it is. Power Research uh, Incorporated. G is for gasoline, D is for diesel. But none of these products are perfect. Now, there's another thing out there where people say um, add water to the ethanol gasoline, in other words, a 10% ethanol. You know, you know, let it let it sit, and then you can drain off the real gasoline part. And I guess that does work in in a way. It does work, but there's one caveat to it. If you do that, you're going to um, lower the octane because the ethanol rate is what's really raising the octane on the gasoline products today. So if you take 93 octane fuel that has 10% ethanol in it. And you separate, you get the ethanol out of it by adding a little water so the water attracts with the ethanol and, you, and they separate, right? The gas separates and you drain off the gasoline. The end product is like around 87 octane. So then you got to use an octane booster. Or you can try to go on online and try to find a gas station that sells just gasoline. But, you know, in a practical world, it's probably a lot cheaper to... Um, just use these products and make sure your gas tank is full or your gas can is full and um, you know there's no 
ventilation. It's like this can, like for instance here, I painted this can. I actually put a, a, I didn't quite fill it up all the way so it expands. This is the two cycle gas oil mix. I put a screw in here versus using this cap because this cap will pop off if this thing gets too hot. And I did, I made it so there's, um, it's maybe about two thirds full so the can could expand. I know it's got a little bit of air in it, but I wanted to make sure whatever air is in there, it doesn't get more air pulled back in it through the vent. And um, I'm hoping that's going to last longer. But these things are very, very vital for these uh, two cycle engines. I'm finding out, like on these chainsaws and stuff, with these tiny little check valves in the carburetors, which um, don't come with your carb repair kits and are um, difficult to remove, difficult to clean. And um, they especially affect the starting circuit. And again, if you use the method to take out the ethanol from the gas by adding a little bit like eth uh, by adding a little water to a 10% E10 gas and cause it to separate um, if you wind up with an 87 octane gas from premium first off that's a pain in the neck to do all that garbage and number two um, like two cycle engines will run better on like a 91 or 93 octane they'll start better and if you're gonna have to add octane booster to bring it back up again it's it gets to be cost prohibitive so it's better to my, in my opinion you're gonna be running like two cycle engines especially um to just get an additive um and treat to get treat some premium gas with it and then and then you know e10 premium and make sure the way you store it it's stored really well uh i noticed with four cycle engines you know my lawnmower I had this stuff in a gasoline in a four cycle lawnmower you know some are two cycles like Toro's it was a four cycle engine no problem no problem it would sit like all you know all winter for like eight months and I go to start it up at the same gas and it started up no problem and absolutely no problem with two cycle motors it's a problem and if you get phase separation with two cycle motors if the ethanol starts separating from the gas, it's going to also affect your oil mix. In other words, you know, if you're supposed to have 32 to 1, 50 to 1, 40 to 1, whatever, and all of a sudden it separates, well, you're going to be separating some more of that oil out of the, out of the, the ratio. It's going to be, um, like if you get some water in the ethanol two-cycle mix, it's going to separate into water and which is not a lubricant <laughs> and also you know the ethanol which is not going to be mixed that well with the um, two cycle oil I don't think even at all so it's very 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 vital to um, two cycle motors um, the stable the new stable products this new stable 360 is pretty good it does not stop phase separation but still it works pretty damn well and the this new stable 360 mobile, um, excuse me, marine, 360 marine. I think it's a green can. It's a green. It's a green color. It's economical, but these are also economical too because, you know, treats up to 512 gallons. Actually, probably half that, but still, you pay about 30 bucks. And you know, if you say you want to drive to a store or a gas station, excuse me, that has pure gasoline. By the time you drive there, you go there, you make the trip, and you do that several times, you're going to be buying, you'll be paying for something like this. I think this product, even though it says it's for two and four stroke engines, um, I noticed it didn't work that well in a chainsaw myself. And I didn't work, like nothing's perfect. This gas cap is vented. This thing still will... Like I said, it doesn't, It it's not like when you put stable, like the old stuff, in um, regular gasoline that didn't have any ethanol in it back in the day. When you did that, boy, that stuff would last a couple years easy. <laughs> easy. But today, forget about it. I mean, this, these products help, but it, they're up to a certain point. And if you get some water in your gasoline... It's like hang it up. Don't think that you're just gonna add some stuff in there and fix it. 
because even this product, which is the only one that I know that, I mean, even though Stable 360 Marine doesn't prevent stable uh, phase separation, PRIG doesn't prevent phase separation, they still work very well to keep the gasoline preserved, right? This does pre prevent phase separation, but up to a half a percent water. That's not much, man. That's not that much at all. And, you know, you can get quite a bit of condensation in, a, in um, a gas tank just by having a vented cap with a, some breeze blowing over that vented cap. Just being exposed to the vented cap. Now, on a newer car, when you have a closed system with a charcoal canister and the gas tank is full, the gas in there is probably going to last quite a long time, even without treatment. But then again, you want to be on the safe side because um, the newer cars with the fuel injectors and the fuel pumping and the gas tank, you don't want water uh, accumulating on the back, bottom of the gas tank where the expensive fuel pump and hard to get at fuel pump is located that pumps the fuel out of the tank because then it'll be sitting in a layer of water. But like I said, if you get over a half a percent, forget about it. The uh, This uses a different type of technology than the PRIG. This is a unique technology. I know like the everybody markets and exaggerates a little bit, quite a bit maybe, you know, enzyme technology. It works. It's a good product. I've, you know, I've noticed that a lot of people said a lot of good, favorable things about it. Um, this is a better, much better, much, much better product than the old stable. Not sure if it's a much, much better product than the new stable 360 and the three new stable 360 Marine. But if I was going to treat two cycle engine, um, two cycle gasoline mix for two cycle, I would go with stable 360 Marine. In a green bottle or the star startron enzyme and this is still very good for a lot of stuff but then again the caveat is none of this stuff really does all it claims to do none of it it's um, but you can probably get you know I'm not gonna run it I'm, I'm just using common sense here if you have a gas can and it's filled right to the top and it's got some way to expand without an invented cap and it's going to have no air in it and you treat that gasoline with no air in it it's got no way to get air in it again um i think it's going to last like a year or two no problem if the gas can is half full and you put more of this stuff in here and whether it's stable 360 prig startron and it's half full and it's got a vented cap on it or the cap's loose it ain't going to work that good for sure but you know, just having a gas can 100% full and protected from ambient air, somehow you know it's got a way to expand without having a gas cap on it. I don't, you know, maybe they could put, you know, maybe you had a gas cap with a little bellows on it or something like that that you know could uh, expand with the bellows or something and contract with the the heat and the temperature and stuff. But if you have a sealed system and it's no air in it, um, you 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 can get pretty long life out of the, even the um, untreated gasoline. So that's why a lot of times the uh, results vary a lot. But um, personally, now what I'm thinking is for two cycle motors, I'm going to go with the Startron. If I use Stable, I'm going to use Stable 360 Marine. This stuff is good. It's worked pretty good, but I noticed none of these things really work that perfect. They can't, like I said, they can work really, really good if you have them in a container that has absolutely no exposure to air. Then it works a lot better. That's why you're seeing these results vary a lot. Like in other words, these can only this this stuff can only do so much. I mean, the advertising is it's not like false, but it's it's. It's including a lot of marketing, you know. That's really what the dying, That's really what the hell it is. But, um, but I I find this is going to be cheaper. You know, you say, oh, it's thirty dollars. You know, by the time you, you know, could you imagine? You know, you got to run to some place 10, 15 miles away to fill up a couple ga uh, gas cans or something with real gas, and then you got to go do that again in a few months, and then you do that again. 
by the time you make all those trips and you spend all that time, um, you know what I mean, it's, it's going to add up to way more than the cost of just treating it with this stuff, right? And if you take, if you do that thing like you show on the YouTube videos where you take ethanol, E10 gas, and you separate the ethanol out of it and you pour off the real gas, first off, it costs you more money because you, you're, you know, the 10% ethanol is just really a cleaning agent that you might not really find too much use for. And then uh, you're going to have to boost, you're lowering the octane, and if you want to boost it up, you're going to have to pay for the octane booster, plus all that work. This is cheaper. You know, somebody's bitch about the 30 bucks. This is a great product. That's a great product. And not the old stable, but the new product, the 360 Marine, is a great product. But they're limited. They're limited. Again, make sure the gas can is full. Your gas tank is full. There's, and somehow, if you could keep the thing unvented safely, you know, where you, know, you got a, a, you know, a better type of gas tank, uh, gas can or like your car system is unvented it should last pretty long you probably get about a year out of it I know what the like I said with the lawnmower I left this junk in there I had this stuff they had this stuff at the lawnmower treat I did this a couple times I've been using this for a while this is actually probably a couple years old and I've been using it in my cars my bike and everything it does it does do it it does help out a lot but like nothing's a magic bullet but I think on what I'm going to, like I said, for two cycle motors, I'm going with this or stable 360 Marine because even though that says two cycle, I have not got the best results in the world out of this for a two cycle. That's my experience, but maybe it's something I did wrong. I don't know. You know? But I've been reading online a lot from not just not YouTube, but in a lot of blogs and specialists for that do chainsaws and marine motors and all this kind of crap, two-cycle marine motors. Um, I know the marinas have the real gas at the gas station. They, they've they been using mainly this or stable 360 marine. Because um, I have not got really perfect results out of that, even though that was a way, 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 way lot better than the old stable. So... Like I said, none of these products live up to the marketing, but they do work up to a point. Nothing's a magic bullet. That's just how it is. And again, I know I said this 12 times already. Keep the gas tank full. Make sure if you got a, even if you have a vented cap on here, maybe if you put a piece of tape over it or something so if the tape flaps closed or something, you know what I mean, it doesn't vent as much anything to prevent the air from getting out the gas too much will keep it preserved a lot longer because these things can only do so much that's about the way it is